This is like in this video, we are looking at implicit differentiation. So when a function cannot easily be arranged into y is equal to fx, you need to differentiate it implicitly. So when a term is expressed as a function of y, it is found by f dash of y times by dy by dx. So that will make more sense when we look at it in a question. So this one says that find dy over dx of x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So what we're going to do is take each of the terms and differentiate it, and then we'll put it in all together at the end. So therefore, we'll start off with just x squared. That's the easy one, as that is just going to go to 2x. Now, the hardest one here is the 2xy. And because this is a product of two different things, what we're going to have to do is take the product rule. Now, we looked at this a couple of videos ago, so if you don't know about it, watch the video on that. But we can say that u is equal to 2x. We can say that v is equal to y. So therefore, we can say that du over dx is equal to 2. And then we can say that dv over dy is equal to dy over dx. And we know that because we're saying here that f dash of y uh, times by dy over dx. So that is just y is just going to differentiate to give dy over dx. So therefore, using the product rule, we're going to say that 2x times by dy over dx, that's going to be 2x dy over dx. And then that's going to be plus 2y. Then the final one we have here is y squared. Now, this is again, we're going to have to use this idea, f dash of y. Now, f dash of y is going to be 2y. But then we're also going to have to times it by dy by dx. So there we are. Now we have to add all of these together. So that means that we've got 2x plus 2x dy over dx. Then we're going to say plus 2y. And then we have finally plus 2y dy over dx. And we can say that that is going to be equal to zero. So therefore, what we are able to do now is collect like terms. And that means that what we're going to have is 2x dy over dx plus 2y dy over dx is going to be equal to minus 2y minus 2x. Therefore, that means that we can take a dy over dx out of here, which means that we'll get dy over dx is equal to minus 2y minus 2x over 2x plus 2y. That is just going to equal minus 1. And there we have our final answer for that question. So the next question is asking us to find dy over dx when x cos y is equal to tan x. So again, for the left hand side, we're going to have to use the product rule. And we're going to start off by differentiating that. So this time what we have is u is equal to x. And then v will be equal to cos y. So that means that du over dx 
is just going to be equal to 1. Now, dv over dy is going to be slightly more difficult to differentiate. This is, of course, using um, trigonometric differentiation. So cos differentiates to give minus sine. So therefore, we're going to get minus sine y. And then we're going to also have the dy over dx because we're differentiating something including y. So therefore, once we're doing adding them together, we'll start off with du dx um, o times by v, which is going to be just cos y. So we're going to get cos y minus, and then this is going to be minus x sine y, and then dy over dx. So now that we've differentiated that, we now have to differentiate the tan x. And tan x simply differentiates to give sec squared x. Now, if you don't understand why it gives sec squared x, it's because uh, you use the quotient rule when you do sine x over cos x, but it's more useful if you just remember sec squared x, which you should be able to do. And especially in the exam, you don't want to have to use the quotient rule to work out what tan x is. So therefore, now we have cos y minus x sine y dy over dx. And that is equal to sec squared x. So the next stage is to make sure that everything with dy over dx is in one side. So that means that we can add this and we can take away this. So therefore, what we'll be left up with is cos y minus sec squared y, sec squared x, sorry, That will therefore be equal to x sine y and then dy over dx. So now we have a dy over dx on one side and we need to divide this to get it only dy by dx. That means that dy by dx is going to be equal to cos y minus sec squared x over x sine y. And that is our final answer for this question. So the final question we have says that a curve has the equation ln y minus 1 is equal to x ln x. So what is dy over dx? So this time we're going to start with this left hand side here and try to differentiate this. And in order to do this, we're going to have to use the chain rule. And this is because it is a function of a function or also known as a composite function. So in order to use the chain rule, which we looked at last lesson, so if you don't know, look at that to refresh, we're going to say that y is equal to ln u. And then we're going to say that u is equal to y minus 1. So that means that dy over dx is going to be equal to 1 over u, which is also equal to 1 over y minus 1. And that is because u is equal to y minus 1. Then du over dy is going to simply be equal to dy over dx. Now this is because we have a y here. If it was a constant, it would just differentiate to give 1 if it was x. Because it's y, we're going to do 1 times by dy by dx. The other one here is a constant. That means that it differentiates to give nothing. So therefore, in the chain rule, we just do du by dy times by dy by dx. 
So that's going to be equal to 1 over y minus 1 times by dy over dx. Next one here says x ln x. Now that is obviously going to be using the chain rule as we have done in the previous two examples. And you'll see a lot of use of the product rule. So it uses the product rule. And you will see a lot of use using the product rule. So here u is equal to x and then v is equal to um, ln x. So that means that we're going to have du over dx is going to be equal to 1. And then dv over dx, that is going to be equal to 1 over x. So therefore, we're doing that times that and that times that. That is going to be equal to 1 times ln x is going to be ln x. 1 over x times by x is just going to be plus 1. So therefore, what we now have is 1 over y minus 1 dy over dx is equal to ln x plus 1. So therefore, dy by dx is going to be equal to ln x plus 1 and that will be divided by 1 over y minus 1 and the trick with divided is that you times it by the inverse. So you take the reciprocal. So this will mean that it's going to be ln x plus 1 times by y minus 1. So therefore dy over dx is equal to ln x plus 1 and that will be times by y minus 1. And that was our final answer. Obviously, this question uses many different types of differentiation. So we have the, the chain rule at the start, the product rule here. We're also using our logarithmic functions. In the previous ones, we've seen trigonometric functions. So again, implicit differentiation, that's the basis, but you will have to use other types of differentiation as well to get the final answer. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.